Meteorologist Scott Dorvell with the Idaho News 6 forecast. Good evening again, everybody. The heat is on today and there's more of it to come. Another day, but tomorrow will be different. It will be like a hair dryer is blowing in the afternoon with the heat and the wind, shifting wind, some thunderstorms in some locations. We'll sort it all out here. Let's first of all take a look at right now. Not much wind at all. We've got sunshine out there. Nice blue skies. Uh, temperatures are hovering in the mid 90s across the board. 19% humidity, so the humidity uh, quite low out there. And uh, the wind, almost nothing, which makes it feel even hotter. So uh, one of those hot evenings in store. It'll be nice when the sun goes down. Comfortable to sit out of the back patio with the nice warm temperatures and uh, not much wind blowing around from nearby thunderstorms, at least not in the Treasure Valley anyway. And here's some of the other readings. 95 in Ontario for the high temperature today. 97 in Mountain Home, 98 in Rome, Oregon. And notice our northwest view. Look at the cooler weather starting to work its way in already from the west. There's more cloud cover here. And so Medford's down to 89. The core of the heat is right in here. It's sliding slowly to the east. We'll still have tomorrow a surge of heat coming in from the south. And uh, because of the strong wind, it will downslope and it'll as it runs downhill, it will increase the pressure, increase the temperature. And that's why we could soar above 100 in some locations. So the running forecast for tomorrow, the good hours are getting few and far between six and seven in the morning. If you want to call that good, uh, that's temperature wise. It's going to be 70 degrees when you wake up in the morning with the temperature rocketing to 90 degrees by 11 o'clock. As Roland mentioned, you're right on the nose there, Roland. Poor running conditions just because of the heat. I saw a lot of people running this afternoon, but I don't know. I, I, I'm not a big fan of that and the heat like that. And then the wind will be blowing. And that will probably increase the pollen as well which we'll take a look at coming up later. There's been some storms going through the southern Magic Valley and eastern Magic Valley, but uh, over southwest Idaho, just staying mostly clear. I think it's going to stay that way for much of the early evening. Some of this cloud cover down to the south here will work its way in high clouds later tonight. As the sun is going down, you'll see those clouds uh, in the western sky. Uh, but all in all, for the rest of the sun, sunny hours today, we'll keep that sunshine. All this red, excessive heat warnings, and then high uh, uh, red flag warnings, basically, or fire weather warnings in northern Nevada, and this is all shooting in our direction. And so we're going to have uh, some real scorching temperatures tomorrow near 100 degrees. As cool weather will go up the coast, it's helping to pump that hot air and that wind in. The difference between high pressure and low pressure, you get a strong wind uh, in the middle, and that's what's happening. So as this goes to our west, it will bring cool air and rain and even flood watches in this region here while we have red flag warnings, dry conditions here. So when you have extremes like that, you get a lot of wind, and that's going to be blasting to the north and look at the fire danger forecast. Look at the increase up into the high category in parts of the Magic Valley and Mountain Home as well. So be careful tomorrow. There could be fire started. And if you see one started, please call immediately because it will spread rapidly because of the conditions out there. Payad Lake uh, forecast is sunshine. I had a thunderstorm of 1500s last night, 86 degrees during the day tomorrow. And out at Sun Valley, the heat was too much. They finally put the awning out. There it is. Uh, that's a sunshade, so the ice doesn't melt. 84 degrees today. Same story coming up for tomorrow, but more comfortable weather in the 70s later. So here's tomorrow, partly cloudy skies. But then look at this. Thunderstorms start to form in the late afternoon, early evening, especially Boise County towards the Snake Rip, towards the uh, Stanley Bay basin and they will rock it to the north but everybody else may keep the sunshine around so the forecast looks like this you'll see the wind coming in strongest wind tomorrow afternoon it will howl 35 to 40 miles an hour and then the wind will shift at seven o'clock as the front goes through so gusty wind then and then beautiful conditions on sunday quick check at my idaho news six weather forecast for the treasure valley sun Clouds, windy conditions, gusts 35 miles an hour. Look at those temperatures. 101 in the Western Valley, 99 to 100 degrees in the Boise area. Similar story in Mountain Home, Garden Valley, mid-90s. Mid-80s in Pine and Featherville in the McCall area in the mid-80s. Stanley Sun Valley, a little more bearable in the low to mid-80s. My extended forecast, look how much nicer Sunday is. Mostly sunny, light wind, 78 degrees. Rolling, it doesn't get any better than Sunday, but it doesn't get much, <laughs> I don't know, worse than Saturday? No, I guess goes. not. So uh, let me get this straight. I can blow dry my hair just sitting outside tomorrow morning. You got it. That's all you need to do. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Saves me some time. Thanks, Scott. Appreciate it. Go.